What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea, honey. So I was probably going to walk in the room in a minute. But listen, we about to get into, um, we had a one-on-one -on -one discussion. This is uh, uh, Amar. You? Maya's boyfriend, Jazz's best friend. So that was that don't know. We back in with another video. Y'all already know what's going on and shit. Another <laughs> and vlog, shit. pretty much. You know, to start off on this shit, man. Like I always say before any video, mm. like, comment, subscribe. If you any of my real supporters, keep up supporting. I fuck with y'all. If you don't, you got any negative ass comments to say you. That's how I feel to don't be honest because like honestly a lot of shit didn't already been discussed back behind burners y'all niggas don't niggas have not, to not doing no YouTube, shit. Sit down none of that shit. none of that youtube y'all want this shit to be like Literally. that y'all want to know all the business y'all want to know nigga this shit shouldn't even hit the internet in the you know what sucks about this part of the content is that <clears throat> when they <laughs> for some reason they really don't understand that we didn't bring it to the internet, y'all did. And I know they be like, bitch, shut the f up when I say that. But it's true. <laughs> How would we have known what happened if y'all didn't bring it to the internet? How would we be able to talk about it if y'all didn't bring it to the internet? Like, shit happened behind the scenes. Y'all handle that, or supposed to handle that, behind the scenes. All we this know, shit been spoke on. None of this shit we was grown. so, like, literally. Ain't nobody got no fucking bad blood with no fucking body. If you was tuned into my fucking mind like I was saying before, I got hot. no fucking bad blood with no Ooh, fucking I gotta edit body. Them. Point blank, period. I'm still cool with this nigga that's fucking right here. My fucking day one, and I'm still locked in with my fucking Girl, bro, regardless of whatever the fuck y'all say, why would y'all try shit. to make this Literally. man choose between his best friend and girlfriend? That shit is weird, bro. I wouldn't even let my man's do that shit. <laughs> if you let your man's do that shit, you was a weird ass nigga. Like, my nigga, I'm grown. Me and Maya, we just got off the phone like Literally. Three minutes ago, my nigga. We just got off the phone. Everything is good. I misunderstood how she was phrasing some things on live. She already said that she was in the moment. She was heated. She took accountability for certain shit she said. We good. We talk behind closed doors. We're not bringing this shit to YouTube. No point. Move forward. No point. Stay out of Maya comments. Stay out of India comments. They acting like they told the people that they had the conversation. <clears throat> I will say, the way some of y'all care about what they got going on, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. But I just be trying to get them to kind of understand, you know, because half of them do watch the videos. They may not like me, but they watch them. Or somebody send it to them. And the truth is, when you bring it to the internet, you got to clear it up. You ain't got to do shit. You grow and do what you want. But you can't, like, be oblivious to not understanding why people still going at her. Ugh, it's just, ah, this is crazy. I really be wishing they got the logic of it. And maybe we wouldn't have nothing to talk about. No cap. Stay out the girls' comments, bro. Let people live life, my nigga. Man. Not even that serious. I'm not going to lie, y'all. We already talked about it. We laughed at the end of the conversation. Um, it's like it's good as the beginning of a new year. A raid is somebody uh, basically bringing their following to your Twitch. Let's move forward. Uh, Mark's not gonna it's literally January 8th. He's not going to leave his girlfriend. Jay he's not going to stop being friends with me. Just move forward. Twin, y'all right. come under my shit. Y'all come under my live and shit, saying certain shit. Just move uh, thinking it. niggas gonna be against each other and shit. Cut it. Respect it, bro. Y'all fuck with me and y'all really my supporters. Don't, don't, don't do that shit, bro. This shit is dead. Like, like my nigga just fucking said. Like my nigga already said. This is the last time niggas speaking on any of this fucking shit. I ain't no fucking issues with FOE, Maya, any of no Man, Every, walking here right now, I'm going to speak. It's I'm Gucci. Gonna smile. Nigga, I grew up with great home training. Nigga, I'm not going to disrespect nobody. Everybody's still a human being. Everybody deserves their own respect. Maya he reached out to me. We talked. Literally. We talked on the phone right here. She did have respect for Maya when they was when she did her video. I agree with that. In front of my best friend on speaker. And we already agreed. This shit should have been talked out on the phone before. But, hey, 
A lot of shit don't work out in your fucking favor. We all human. We all human. Sometimes we move off emotion. We move off anger. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And me and her, we talked about that. And that's cool. We human. Like, it's but we talked about it. We simple, grown as hell, bro. bro. We grown as hell. We talked about it. We communicated. We good. And don't nobody hate nobody. Nobody. Everybody's good. It's not, it's not no fucking hate. <laughs> Ain't no hate. Let that, that shit, shit fucking be. From this day forward. I moved too fast on Instagram and I unfollowed my because I was mad. Y'all was drunk that night. I was mad when she was cons conspiring. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. All I was seeing was tweets. And my fans hit me back to back with screenshots and shit. And I moved out of emotion. So don't even bring that little part up down there. And follow. Okay, I'm going to end up following her back. Just mind me. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so, so you missed it. Bro. Jazz and Maya made up to each other. Basically, they had a conversation on the phone after the whole live situation. Uh, what's her name? Maya took accountability. Jazz... Um, Saying that she took, a, she misunderstood some shit. Um, she basically overreacted, and they cool now. Mm, okay. That shit dead. And he said he ain't choosing no friend over no girl, no girl, no friend. Pulled up a fucking over here, okay. and we talked this shit out one on one. Let that shit be, bro. Ain't no issues or nothing, bro. Hey, that's not like the one on one. Literally, my nigga sat here like, bro. I, I, that's not no type of shit to record. I was right here, bro. We my nigga sitting. She called Maya personally, talked all his shit out. Both of these niggas have a understanding. So I just want y'all niggas to understand. Let it be. It's done. I'm not speaking on it no more. You come on, I'm like, respectfully, if you come under my comments on that shit, you're getting blocked. I don't even give a f It's just that fuck. I already been blocked. If you want to get added to the block list, you will get added to the block list. I don't care. If you support me, you know what the fuck I ask. My last time speaking on it. But other than that, that nigga said my nigga Jazz came through this bitch. We got some more. That nigga said what he needed to say. <laughs> he dropped 1,700 F-bombs that I got to edit out, but it's all right. Um, Listen, I like when people work it out. Shit. You know, some people are on the internet to see people just crash out, but. I originally started reacting to them because, you know, I enjoyed the content. Now, I no longer react to things that I enjoy because they get too personal. And these niggas don't give a f about you anyway. So, with that being said, I won't be reacting to some of these challenges and all that shit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But, since it's a little tea going on right now, I just wanted to, you know, speak on it. But, uh, ultimately, um, I'm glad that they can make it up. I wish they would have just made a video and said, we made it up, leave us alone, but... They said it in this video, after I guess everything happened, whatever, I don't care. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below. Um, these niggas, I feel like they're a little more mature than we was back in the days because it was beef until we still beefing. Absolutely. Niggas, I had problems with at 20. I still don't like none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye.